and many food banks around the country still, they, they're just offering non-perishable goods. Mm -hmm. But actually, there was, in the early days of COVID, it was clear to us working with Rachel that absolutely tons of surplus fresh food and actually the bees. So we, as a council, we supported communities to buy industrial fridges so they could take fresh stock and then working with Felix, we could distribute During the pandemic, because we saw the, the need, we were doing delivery before, and uh, we got an opportunity to get the space in Stratford Base at the back of the police station. We started a food bank. Without a doubt, we are in the midst of an emergency. What the government should be doing is convening COBRA to discuss the options to address the you know, cost of living crisis but also the energy bills uh, going up. What the government should also be doing is an emergency budget uh, to help alleviate the, str the struggle families are going through. Uh, many families haven't seen a pay rise in a number of years. What they're seeing though are the bills are going up uh, and uh, you know, things that were set up for a COVID pandemic uh, looks like now becoming permanent because of the cost of living crisis. And when I speak to families, what they're saying is the biggest reason why they're making it uh, it's difficult to make ends meet is because of the energy bills. The second biggest reason is because wages haven't gone up with inflation. And the third big reason is other expenses they've got as well.